Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play High Fleet. Well, the game did crash last time, unfortunately, and unfortunately it did not save until after our uh, group has landed here. So there we go. So, we're still back here, our main group has landed, and uh, we need to get some information. And we need to fix some ships. That's quite annoying because now I don't know what the game has fixed and what it hasn't. This is not fixed. I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, I can just do this. There we go. Alright. And longer bow is... Is it fine? It seems to be okay. Even though it says that stuff is damaged. It's very, very, very annoying. Fix that. Uh, okay. And the wasp needs to have that repaired. And yeah, it, we also added some uh, spaces here, didn't we? I mean, we added some landing pads. Uh, where do they go? One there. And one there. Should probably put it into the docks, but that's fine for now, I suppose. There. A bit there. What? What's wrong here? Need an ammo module. Functioning is not possible. Oh. Okay, need two more ammo. Uh, well, we can put them here. There we go. Not a problem. <laughs> uh, I don't have enough crew for that, but that's okay. It should be fine, I suppose. I mean, we can add some more crew quarters somewhere. Uh, like here, because, you know, you want to be completely exposed when you're the crew on this ship. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to add any more. Uh, wasp longer all right the gladiator is being repaired yep the meteor is being repaired but we're actually going to put it into the docks and it's annoying to land so that's going to be great Beginning tunnel approach. Fire take this thing Don't overheat. Ugh. Okay, there we go. That'll do. That'll do. Alright, so repair that. 14 hours, that's a long time. And everything else is fine, I suppose. Alright, so, instead of, uh, you know, considering that the game made us go through all of this again... Uh, we're just going to say, well, yeah, fine, we'll cheat a bit as well. And we won't go for the trade, we'll look for the strike groups. Um, we'll look for the strike groups. What? What's going on? Are you... Are you saying there's... There's no more strike groups anywhere? There's no more strike groups. There's only tactical groups like missile carriers and... And... Wait, that's Falcon, that's Monsoon. Oh man, we've taken out all of the strike groups. Huh. Now I wonder. We should go there and... Okay, so we know that there's missile carriers here, which means that as soon as these guys are detected, there will be missiles raining down upon them. That's not very good. The Scarab does not have enough fuel to get there on its own, so I'll have to uh, leave a Skylark here. But, when we get to Uchkudu, uh, we'll hopefully have enough time to catch these guys with their pans down and take them out. And that's cool. We're actually taking them out. So let's see, where's more of them? Oh, aircraft carrier group, Kestrel. That's, uh, yeah, that's quite a lot of them everywhere. Not very nice. 
Alright, what do we have? What is it? Oops, oops. Arrival in five hours. Flying north, northwest, I'm assuming. Carrying, uh, prepare Scythian. So, might be coming there. We'll see. Okay, so there's the repairs going. Oh, we're getting some fuel back. What? What was that all about? Did you see that? Did you see the range of the fuel? You can you can just go back a few seconds. It went down and then oop, oop, a little bit up and then down again. That was very odd. So yeah, I definitely don't want my main group to be there when the missiles arrive, even though the main group with Sevastopol especially has some pretty good chances of avoiding, um, well, of destroying the missiles. Going blah, 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 160 following the route Jaffa, ah, there we go, Jaffa Kayla. So this is, no, Jaffa Kayla, there we go. Jaffa Kayla, Bethel Cargo. Uranium. Okay, so are they going straight from here to there? I wonder. Because that would assume... Oops. That at 160, it'll take them. They'll be here in 10 hours. There. And about here in 5 hours. Hmm. I could send a scarab there to uh, intercept. A scarab and a skylark. And just wait for them there. Which is probably what I'll do. And hopefully, I can catch both this transport and the other one that might be arriving there. 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 No destination. Alright, we'll wait over here and make sure that, you know, we find them on IR. I know this is not... This is not um, necessary. The infrared detector detects 360, uh, whatever you uh, track. But you get a clearer picture of, I suppose, what's coming. Okay, so these guys are done now. There's another aircraft carrier group, and that is Vetter. So, wind. Alright, so these guys are going to go to... Which could do. And hopefully the game doesn't crash again. Alright. So, how are you guys doing on the... There we go. There we go. Thermal signature. Exactly where I thought it would be. However, I have to be careful here. Because you can see that we barely have enough fuel to get back with the Skylark. And... Um, if the Scarab is going to use some fuel as well, flying towards those guys. Where was it? Oh. Where was it now? Eh? I'm confused now. Did these guys attack it? Oh, they did. Oh no, so it's there. These guys need to go. I don't think they'll catch them now. Yeah, they won't catch them, I don't think. However, if they've landed... Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, there we go. Scarab, will you have enough to catch it? Yes, you will. And they did, of course, report the... What? They sent the Skylark? <sighs> Frickin' hell. Get out of there. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Fucking hell. How did I... I thought I sent the other one. Yeah, retreat. Tarkan, sir, we don't have enough fuel for this flight. Yeah, I know. Uh, so the Skylark... Oh, maybe they landed. That's why. This is a Skylark. You you stay there. There we go. Oh, that's annoying. And now we're gonna get missiles as well. 
possibly aircraft. I mean, maybe a bit of a waste, but, you know, that's a lot of things to get. Look at that. T twice 130 millimeter. Wow. Okay, you're going back here. Yes, I know you've got no fuel. You'll get some fuel there. Um, Zenith missiles. Okay, let's get some proof protection. Are you serious? These guys have not enough fuel to uh, get back? The Skylark? Oh, that sucks. No, seriously? Does it, does it not have enough fuel? Out of fuel, it doesn't. That's brilliant. <sighs> that sucks. Okay, you guys wait here. I might have to go back. And they will get attacked with... Um, missiles and everything now. Okay, uh, let's get some fuel here. Mullet. Let's get that. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, that was it? No, there's still more. Uh, let's assemble the hole. Uh, what the hell? Is that... What is that? Speed 509. These guys need to come back. Okay. We need to help him now. What, I still have more? No, I don't. That's a lot of freaking aircraft. Holy moly. Come on. Oh no! Okay, so what's gonna happen now? Hunt. Yeah, these are interceptor corvettes. That's, uh, that's gonna suck. That's gonna suck. Badly. Proximity fuse. Let's go for proximity fuse. That should destroy them quite quickly. Ow! That was bad. That was quite bad. Nice, that's one. Ooh. Oh, must not crash into the ground. Okay, let's get out of here. No, bad. Bad! Okay, I want to reposition. I'm running out of fuel, though. I want them to hit their own guys with the rockets. That's what I would like to see. On. Nice. Fifty percent. That'd be hilarious if the scarab could take these guys out. I'm just gonna take the damage here. I've got armor up top. They don't have any armor. Come on. Come on! Come on, I've got you now. No, I don't want to retreat. Yes! Oh my god, the only problem now is fuel. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna have to be quite easy on the throttle. Uh-oh, rockets. I know, I know. 
come on. Oh, ouch. Yes! <laughs> Tiny little meteor took them all out. I freaking love it. I freaking love it. What, you wanna, you wanna intercept me? You wanna intercept me? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> more stuff to get. The problem is we're gonna get more things after us now. Um, wait a second. Is this a thing? Are, are people still have the protective suits on so we don't have to put them on now? Oh, that's... A that would be awesome. Okay, so let's get this. <laughs> oh, all of these guys need to go back now. Okay, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. That's crazy. One little scarab just took everything out. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame we have to go back. Well, maybe not. I'm gonna land over here for now and see what happens. Maybe that's a mistake. Uh, search for survivors. Yeah, sure, do that. Actually, no, disassemble the hole first. But let's see. Let's see what the Skylark says. I wish I could click on the Skylark, because I want the... the IR stuff. Uh, the infrared. Yeah, do that. Yep, and now... Yeah, fine. Do the cabins. Parkin said... Yeah, okay. Okay. So... We're still refueling. We're gonna wait for the fuel. What's going on? Why are they not fueling? Oh, because they don't have any space for the fuel. Okay. There. Okay, so now they're together. Are they not? No. Okay, that's really annoying. How do I now... How do I now land at my... Oh, come on. How do I land at the damn Skylark? Maybe like this? There we go. There we go. Alright, so now both of them can go back here and get the rest of that fuel. But that's probably a stupid idea. No, never mind. Let's just go. Let's get out of here. There. All right. Now. There. And now we can all go for which kudu. Man, that was good. That was good. <laughs> oh. Uh, that wasn't good because we need to go back to get fuel. We're out. Darn it. Darn it. That sucks. Okay, get just enough to get to Uchkudu. Like so. And then get out get out of here. And repair a little bit in the meantime if we can. I cannot believe this little scarab just took out an interceptor group. That is awesome. That is awesome. Um how long is their fueling gonna take? How long would this take to really? Five hours. I don't want to stay here for five hours. I'm going to put it into the docks for now. To just speed up some minor repairs. It's very imbalanced. It's very imbalanced. Is it missing a, an engine? What's going on? Oh, this thing. What is going on? What's... Not really sure why it's so imbalanced. It's probably because of missing the armor on the right, right? Maybe. Okay, let's say two hours for now. Yeah, let's say two hours for now. And we'll see. That's actually gonna take a lot longer than two hours to repair, so. We're going to repair this thing in full. Oh. Yeah, we just repair it all. Uh, yeah, it is missing some armor over here. That part. What? What's going on? 
Why do they suddenly not have anything available at all? That's very odd. This thing doesn't need any actual repairs apart from a little bit of fixing. Like so. Yeah, the... Sorry, not the meteor, it's the scarab. I keep saying meteor, but it's the scarab that did such a good job. So this thing is actually pretty darn nice. Um, the meteor is the really fleshy one. It, uh, it can get destroyed rather quickly. Oh yeah, look, it's missing an engine. That's why we can't really repair it. That's not going to be very useful in combat. So, for now, let's just wait. And then as soon as we're refueled, get out of here. So there's an aircraft carrier group. I'm actually surprised they're not sending aircrafts towards us. Alright, let's get out of here and get some fuel. This place is dangerous. It's dangerous. Yes, General. Alright. So, we are sending the, um, yeah, the Scarab. Do I, do I really want to send just the Scarab, as per usual? Yeah, let's just send the, just the Scarab. Uh, yes, send them forward. This is, uh, taking quite a risk here. Oh, I forgot. Oh. I forgot about the alarm. The alarm was still raised, wasn't it? There's quite a lot of stuff here. I don't like that. I wonder if I should go for incendiary. No, I'm just gonna go normal. Because these guys have no armor on the bottom. They have a lot of rockets, though. So I want to be on the bottom. Oh. Yep, you go there. Ow, 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 ow. What? Oh, I have missiles. I forgot about that. That was close. That was very close. Nice! Man, this thing is good. Nice! That's a big guy. You know what? I'm actually gonna take the smaller guys first. It's gonna be easier. Yeah, hit your buddy! Aww. So that's what the ballistic one is, I guess. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't see anything down there. Come on. Get that UI out of the way. I don't even know where the land is. He's gonna shoot now, but we do have armor up there. I'm gonna turn it a little bit. Oh. He's burning up. Excellent. Oh, shoot! Ah, I took that right in the face, but that's okay. We do have armor up there. I completely missed that. No, I'm going down there. Nice! Very nice. Man, this thing is good. This thing is... This little thing is good. Unfortunately, now it probably means that we're gonna get, uh... Attacked. However... Oh, guns charge 20% faster, I like that. Uh, the question now is, really, do I send, do I keep my entire fleet on its way there, and then probably get attacked by missiles and planes, or do I keep, or do I land them, and just keep the Scarab there as a decoy, but it'll most likely get destroyed, because that thing cannot really defend itself. No, I'm gonna... I don't want to lose it, because this thing is bloody awesome, to be honest. I'm not going to get the fuel tanks, because we're going to get cheaper fuel here. I'm going to get the rest of the stuff... Oh, excuse me, that I can uh, sell. Uh, let's get 
Let's get the Zenith missiles. Let's get the Vimple. And then get the survivors. There. And then go for the crew protection, even though it's too late, so that doesn't matter. Alright. So, the Skylark needs to land. Because it took a little bit of damage there. Um, how is... I don't understand. How is it not damaged? Why does it say damage zero? That doesn't make any sense. Expendables, 9 out of 10. Uh, okay, let's land these guys. Oh wow, this thing is actually quite powerful. I mean, uh, has a lot of thrust. Look at that. Someone placed this stupid little thing down here, so we couldn't land straight down. You know what? I'll just place it down here. It's this thing is very stable, though. I do have to say, very nice. There you go. Nice little gentle touchdown. Now the scarab, which man. This thing is very nice, and that armor on the top, I think, really, really, really helps. Oh, oh, freaking hell. I think it needs some more engine power. Although in combat, it feels nice, to be honest, and it doesn't feel like it's gulping down the fuel too quickly. I mean, I mean you know, it can single-handedly fight into separate groups, which is awesome. Alright. Scarab. Yeah, repair everything, please. That's good. Uh, it's gonna put more armor there as well. Um, I, I wouldn't mind a little bit more fuel, to be honest. I'll put it up here. Just a little bit more fuel. So I, we can really do some longer engagements. Uh, maybe... Do I have some extra engines? I do. This is fixed propulsion. So that would work. Um, how do I do this? I've never actually added any engines. I'm assuming this is not enough. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try two parts. Would that be enough? No, not that. I mean, I would like to put that one on there, but... No. I'm assuming maybe it has to be long. Uh, maybe it has to be this way? No. So is it a... Is it one of these? Yes. Okay. But that's not really going to work. So the only reason I can't put the engines over there is because of the landing gear, I'm assuming. It's a bit of a bit of a shame, but there's a bridge how can I why can you put stuff here isn't that just going to block everything, apparently not hell yeah alright, that works that works for me alright Probably not the best looking thing, but there you go. This is going to be a lot more uh, maneuverable. I was not paying attention to the fuel consumption, though. It does have a lot of fuel consumption. Let me see. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I suppose I can add some more fuel tanks as a result. One here. Oops. One here. And one there. Yeah, there you go. Maybe a bit more armor. Here, so it doesn't uh, destroy the engines immediately. Yeah, it's not the prettiest thing, but uh, it'll it'll do. 
I'm actually really, really happy with this thing. I was, uh... I was assuming it was gonna be such a horrible underdog, but it's actually really, really good. Oh, uh, yeah. Mark II. Okay, look at this thing. It's just... <laughs> it's just a ch It's just such a chubby thing. Alright. Uh, these guys... Oh yeah, this one needs uh, quite a lot. What? What about the other engine? Let's put this thing into the docks, despite the fact that it's so non-maneuverable. I mean, it's such a bother to maneuver. Uh -huh. I hate it. Oh, almost, almost, almost. Thank you, engine boost. Because holy moly, without engine boost, this would probably not be very viable at all. <laughs> okay, so let's repair this thing. There. But it also lacks these engines. What does it have? NK25s. Gas guzzler. Oh, yeah, because these are vectored. Um, fixed propulsion, and this is the fuel-efficient one. So, D D30S, D30S, and K25. So, unfortunately, we have to take this one off. Because we don't have another one. And putting two of those would be just... Yeah, this is fixed propulsion. I need this fuel-efficient stuff. Can I? No, you can't move this one around. There. So it's going to be useful again. Uh, it doesn't have enough power now for some reason. How, how does that work? I've, I'm repairing everything. Does it, huh. well, we'll see. Maybe if I actually designed it like that. Mm. Yeah, let's put some more armor here, despite the fact that... I'm not going to be happy about it. And this is, of course, where the, uh... Where the, um... Things are. Oh. Fine, just take the escape pods off. Um, yeah, there you go. Okay, two and a half. That's... Two and a half thrust to weight ratio is not horrible, although it is a small ship. And it will need more fuel tanks, I think. Yeah. Maybe more fixed propulsion as well. But we don't have enough power and they don't have any generators here. So, oh well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've, uh, you're enjoying this and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.